them. <laughs> anyway, these are looking good. And so um, we're gonna, the ladies are gonna continue to cook. I'm testing the, uh, the uh, oil to see if it's hot enough by taking uh, a piece of the shred of the potato. Antoinette McCaskett. I'm Patty Pagese. I'm Becky Meadow. I'm Debbie Bajak. I'm Susan Myers. And then we made our uh, beautiful potato latkes. And I sort of told you a little bit about different ways of making those. Hi, I'm Judy Keys, and welcome to Cooking for All Seasons. And today we have a really special show. We're at Congregation MF in Morgan Hill, and we're celebrating Hanukkah. And today I have these beautiful ladies here, and I would like them to introduce themselves. I'm Jeanette Nehavkit. I'm Patty Pajese. I'm Becky Meadow. I'm Debbie Zajak. I'm Susan Myers. And um, Patty, will you tell us a little bit about the, the temple that we're at and exactly how it came to be and how it, uh, it got uh, you know, developed and the number of families that are involved? Sure. We have been in South County for over 30 years, but we haven't had a facility. We've rented various facilities to observe um, rituals and, and holidays and Shabbat and a year ago, just a little over a year ago, we bought this wonderful building and we spent a whole lot of time upgrading it and refurbishing it and now we are here and enjoying this wonderful building and this kitchen and we have services and all life cycle events and the holidays are observed. We've been, we have nearly 80 families and a lot of participation. Well, that's wonderful. And today, uh, we're, we're gonna be doing some of the traditional uh, dishes that are served at uh, Hanukkah at mostly, I would say, uh, probably uh, over 110% of the Jewish homes. <laughs> because actually, these dishes go across, uh, not only in Jewish families, but actually, there's a lot of families that serve potato latkes or potato pancakes. The other dish we'll be making are donuts. And the, the significance is that uh, in, in celebrating Hanukkah is the idea that we're using oil. And uh, later on in the show, um, the rabbi will be talking about what the significance of the oil is. So um, today, uh, in this great kitchen here, what we've done is we started to to prepare the, the uh, potato latkes. And as you can see, Patty here has, has the potatoes. And what we've done is we've uh, shredded them in, a, in like a food processor. But if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can do a box shredder or any way. Um, actually, my family, my mom used to put it in a, in a blender. And um, uh, go ahead. Um, the, a much more modern way and an easier way to do it is to go to the grocery store. And in the grocery stores, you can get potatoes that are already Prepare, shredded just like that. Well, see, there, Mark. That's a, you know, when you're coming home from work and you got to get those mm -hmm. latkes on the table, that's a good that's way. I do it. You know, and I know that when you have to make what you, for your family, some of these family mm -hmm. here, we. I make a lot of latkes to take to my kids' school um, for both classes, and in order to keep the potatoes from turning grayish like they tend to do pretty quickly. My mom taught me the trick of grinding up some vitamin C tablets yeah. and dissolving them in a little bit of water, mixing it in with the whole batch, and it delays the graying process. That's a great idea. So um, so you make potato latkes at home? I make them. I've tried a couple different recipes. Uh -huh. I'm still trying to find my favorite. OK. But, um, they'll pretty much eat anything you put on the table if it's similar. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you know, in new age, in new age um, cooking, you know, I mean, some of the, the chefs have taken potato latkes to a whole new level. They use sweet potatoes. They use. Uh, all different kinds of uh, ways they use zucchini. I mean, I've seen different recipes. What what have you seen? Uh, well, I personally love to uh, mush my potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> mush. We have a musher here. <laughs> so you you're like the blender type. Well, I'm, I, I, I'm 
I'm French, so I make my potatoes the French way, like pancakes thin. Uh, okay, so you slice? No, I, uh, I kind of a puree. Okay, so you do a puree. Kind okay. Of a puree with the puree onions, and uh, and it comes thin, so it's not too. Oh, okay. I have to uh, pack a lot to get the oil out. Uh, yeah. So kids eat more of them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> well, you know, potato latkes, yeah. potato pancakes, potato all pancakes, over the world, yeah. uh, potatoes are in all different ethnic uh, groups. Um, they use them for all, you know, all different kinds of meals, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's good with everything. So today we have, uh, you can see here, Patty will show you that we have all this uh, moisture at the bottom. So when you're, when you're doing this, some people go through all the trouble they take and they squeeze them out in the, in the, dish, in the dish rags. I mean, we go through this thing. Sometimes I've, I've tried different things. I've like parboiled them for a little bit to get the starch to set so that they don't turn brown. I mean, everybody goes through different things. But this is the way we're gonna do it today. And now we're gonna take the, the mix, the potatoes, and we're going to put them into? Into this bowl here where we have eggs, yeah. And we have a little bit of baking powder and some flour and salt and pepper. And there are onions in a little bit of grated onions. Some people yeah. like onions, some don't. I love the onion in it. Potatoes, onions, that whole thing going on. So you can see right there at the bottom, you can see the fuzz from the the potatoes. <laughs> But they're just wonderful. I mean, once you get started eating these things, I'm what, telling you, it just it just up. starts getting kind of, <laughs> it just, it, it just, people just go nuts. I mean, you can't just eat one, no. right? No. The, prob right? the problem with that the kids is, the is if they're in the kitchen, while you're making them, they, that's why. <laughs> I usually have to put them in the oven and hide them, mm -hmm. you know, and then all of a sudden I notice there's like the top layer is gone, you know, <laughs> That's right. and then they, you come to the table, it's like, well, what the heck happened? So there's different kinds of toppings that people use it. You know, I think the sort of the standard topping would be sour cream and uh, apple applesauce. Apple sauce. Some people like just a little powdered sugar, some like uh, granulated sugar, uh, any is there anything else? I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, that's just. That's kind. Of, some just eat them with a little salt. I mean, it depends. It depends you really don't what. need to put anything. No, on there. no. It's a potato. That's you know, it's a fried potato. <laughs> Come on. You know. Yeah. So, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the stove, and we're going to put some oil in the pan, and we're going to fry them up. So uh, we'll be right back in a moment, and we'll meet you over at, this, at the stove. How's that looking? That's beautiful. <laughs> looks pretty good to that me. That looks good to me. <laughs> OK, they're ready, to, they're, they're ready for the frying pan. They're ready for the pan. <laughs> okay. Now ready? Can explain how you're okay. testing. Yeah, I'm going to go to you. Oh. What are you testing? I'm testing the, uh, the uh, oil to see if it's hot enough by taking a piece of the shred of the potato um, to see until it starts a bubbling. Yeah. Or till it sizzles. That would be the correct statement. <laughs> you know, some people use the end of a, a wooden spoon. And if it, you put a wooden spoon in hot oil, if it's ready, it will sort of uh, bubble up around the spoon. Some people sprinkle it with cold water or with water, and if the water oh, it makes a big mess. But splatters, but you got to be a little careful, uh, you know, about that. Um, I t generally put one in and then throw that one away because it's, it's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's always it just soaks up so much oil. Yeah, the, uh, the no. first one is never. Yeah. It's always that you know. Yeah. The, the last one, you're like. Okay, come on. And then that one's the best. I don't know. Hi, welcome back. And now we're going to fry them. The, those are the potato latkes. Okay, not the, not the ladies. Um, <laughs> uh, what I did was, in order to test the oil here, I took a little shred of the potato and I put it in the, in the pan and, uh, to, to see if we're, uh, what did we say? Sizzling. Sizzling. We don't want greasy potato latkes. So you have, you have to get the oil up warm, warm enough. I don't know if you can see. We've probably got, what would you say, about 
I'd say probably about no, a three quarters to a half, half an inch to three quarters of an inch of, of vegetable oil. Um, I use vegetable oil. Some people use peanut oil. Some people use corn oil. Some people use canola oil. It kind of depends. I don't think you'd want to uh, use olive oil, but maybe in Italy, I don't know. Italian Jews would maybe use olive oil. What do you think? Sounds good. Probably. <laughs> and um, potatoes and olive oil. I mean, I, I mean, with onions, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So it kind of just depends on what your family enjoys, and also what your heart speaks to you, <laughs> or maybe more so what your daughter, what your doctor speaks to you. Um, but you know, one of these or so is not gonna, not gonna be too bad for you. So what we're gonna do is, you can see, I have a slotted spoon. Well, here, let me show you slotted spoon. And what we're going to take is, I'd say what, maybe what, ladies, what would you say? It was about a half of a cup? Yeah. And okay, maybe the first one's not going to always turn out the best because you're kind of testing the oil still, but ooh. Oh, that's ooh. what supposed to sound like. Ooh. Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay, then you're going to kind of put it in here, you're going to kind of, I don't know, can you see what I'm doing? So we're going to put them in here. I mean, you don't want the oil too hot because we don't want to end up with them burned. And we don't want them to cook so fast that they don't cook all the way through. So it is kind of a, a practice. I would say practice, you know. Um, wouldn't you say, ladies? I mean, you're taking some of the liquid out of that as you, before you put it in there. Yeah, I'm sort of, that's right. I'm sort of trying to squeeze a little bit of the liquid out um, before we, you know, before we put it in, because the liquid really does not um, help. It. Ooh, looking good. I mean, like this is. Would you say that? I mean, okay. When, in in all religious uh, holidays. I mean, I, there, there are foods specifically, specific foods to specific holidays. Um, I have to say that this is one of the ones that I know the kids look forward to, mm -hmm. you know? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you say? I think it's the atmosphere. It's yeah, the it's, atmosphere. A very, it's a very, it's a very. of the oil and uh, the, uh, all the goodies that come along with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. festive. It's, it's a very, and it's a happy, yeah. it's a happy yeah. holiday. Yeah. It's a very festive holiday. And uh, so this is, there's, there are definitely other, other foods. And it comes with toys, so. Huh? Uh, yeah. How and we're going to talk yeah. about that <laughs> later. <laughs> yeah. You know. Okay, so. there, this is, you know, there are a lot of other things that we eat on, on Hanukkah. Um, carrot simmus. Do you uh -huh. guys do that? Yeah. And we make brisket, which mm -hmm. is like delicious. It's, uh, brisket is uh, beef that um, has been cooked in the oven with uh, uh, how can onions, I onions, and, onions carrots. and carrots, and I mean everybody makes it different. I know some people some people put um, some people put uh, prunes and all really kinds sweet. of yeah, sweets like and sweet. stuff. It's uh, really good. And there's another one, um, and I can never enunciate it correctly. It's the um, one that you make with the pasta and the, uh, oh, yeah. and the, um, no, it's, well, we kugel, but no, it's made with pasta and the, um, oh, okay, you guys are going to think I'm like, so, but anyway, <laughs> we'll, th we'll think of it. It's made with a grain, pasta and I can't, oh, no, I can't, I can't remember it, but I have to, remember. but anyway, here they are, they're, they're moving around. So you know they're not sticking. And uh, you have to understand, we're using a nonstick pan. Um, probably, you probably want to try to use a nonstick pan, however you are frying. And you probably will be OK if you don't have a nonstick pan. But you know, if you could, that would, that would probably help. So let's peek underneath here and see what we got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we're, 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 we're looking good here. So we're going to flip this it's one over. Nonstick. How's that looking? Perfect. Perfect. You guys did a great job. Yeah. 
Well, one way you can kind of tell the ready to turn too is it's getting brown on the edges. On the edges, on the edges, on yeah. So just think of yourself making potato latkes in the kitchen for like hours mm -hmm. while your kids are sitting at the table and your husband or your friends and everybody devouring them, yeah, right, <laughs> right? And then, you and, that, and then you come out of the kitchen thinking that there could possibly be one left on no. the table for you? I don't think so. So the best thing to do is Take make sure. before you serve it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or have your own little plate there at, next to the stove and make sure that there's enough left for you. And even though they're, they're the best right out of the pan, you can make them ahead of time and then crisp them up on the cookie sheet in the Oh, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. 400 degrees for about 10 or 15 minutes should do it. Oh, great. See? See? And well, you know, I mean, sometimes if you're having a lot of company, uh, you really do have to make them earlier. I mean, yeah. even, even uh, make them and freeze them is not a bad idea. You know, it's sort of like I make um, uh, blintzes, I make, which is like a, a crepe filled with uh, like a ricotta cheese type mixture. And we uh, eat them at, at breakfast time and they're fried in butter. They're very dietetic. And you serve <laughs> them again with sour cream and fruit. But I make them. <laughs> I, I, there's are wonderful, but I make them, I make them and, uh, for my family and I just freeze them and then, then I just take them out and, and they, they, you know, they're very easy to heat up because I've already, uh, you know, they're just ready to pop in the pan and fry them up. We'll brown them up in butter. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, these are looking good. And so, um, we're gonna, the ladies are gonna continue to cook because we have some company coming. And uh, like I said before, the rabbi is gonna be here and we're gonna talk a little bit more about Hanukkah. And so the next part is we're gonna be making some donuts. And I have a friend uh, who's here and that's uh, Jim Bajazi and this is uh, Patty's husband and he's been, I've known him for a long, long time. And we're gonna be making the donuts are souf gognots. Sufganyot, very well said. Okay, I took a long time to remember how to say that, but that is the Hebrew. That's the Hebrew. That's the Hebrew for donuts, and we're gonna fill them with uh, strawberry and uh, I bought some blackberry jam too, mm. and a little powdered sugar. <laughs> so this is a dietetic meal. So anyway, um, those are looking good, and I, the last thing I kind of wanted to show you guys was the fact that um, anytime you're frying something, the easiest thing, oh, did I, I didn't burn you, okay. The easiest thing to put things on is uh, brown paper bags. So save your brown paper bags and really things drain very well on um, brown paper bags. So we'll be right back uh, with some donuts. Okay. They smell good. Yes. 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 What? Okay, you guys. Yeah. Good timing. Okay, the donut expert. One of your donuts is the size of a pie. What? I opened that up and it was this big. Okay. Hi, we're back. Okay, I have two things. Uh, well, actually, three things. We have a new person in the kitchen, and you are? Michael. Hi, Michael. OK. Uh, uh, second of all, I want to thank Trader Joe's and Morgan Hill and uh, the manager, uh, Renee, for so graciously being the sponsor of this uh, wonderful show uh, for Hanukkah. Uh, second, third of all, um, I want to introduce my friend. <laughs> This is Jim Bajazi, an old friend of mine, and uh, his wife, Patty Bajazi, uh, was here earlier uh, with the latkes. And the ladies. <laughs> and I'm going to show you my apron, my apron, my apron, my apron. It's the Jewish mother apron, okay? Along with it comes wonderful feelings for everyone, okay? Was that okay, girls? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, we're on to donuts, okay. We have two kinds of donuts here today. We have the expert donut, <laughs> okay? Jim has created donuts with handmade uh, a dough, right? Yeah. I mean, his dough is, scratch. is from scratch, 
My dough is the I don't know how to bake, or I don't like to bake, <laughs> or the fast way. And these are from Bridgeford Dough, from Bridgeford Bread, which really worked really good. Yeah. You know, I was really surprised. It, it worked really good, and it's a fast way. Okay, sort of like the latkes coming home with the, the, the grated. Yeah, I, I know they don't look as. They actually looked better the other day when I did them. But don't, anyway, don't they taste. taste, don't taste that tastes fine. And um, we're gonna fry them up, and then we're gonna fill them with some uh, jelly and powdered sugar, and then these guys are gonna be the testers. Okay. So if uh, let's put them in. <laughs> okay. So uh, they're like little pillows. They are. Look at, aren't those beautiful? Mine are kind of cute. <laughs> but hey, mm. you know, anything fried, right? And again, the significance of oil, again, on Oh, Monica, they are really soft. Has, I'm going to do two has at a time. Like a, oh, I can put like, um, let's see, there's, that's like one, two, three. I'll try three. I'll use a small one. Four. And actually, when I'm, when I'm using, the other day I used a, just a, um, a Dutch okay, oven, and I maybe, put, maybe uh, how you guys, how are you doing? I just put mine in there, starting to roll. Okay, I use just a Dutch oven oh, on my stove. Thank you. Uh, with actually just like a, maybe about four, okay, about three or four inches of, uh, of uh, oil. Again, whatever kind of oil, you know, you like to use. Um, this, this is kind of a neat thing. I've had it for a really long time. It's actually a, slow cooker, everything combination, and I've used it for a really long time, and it's really kind of come in handy. You know, this is a beautiful uh, fryer, and you know. It's my cannoli fryer. It's cannoli fryer. <laughs> Kosher cannolis, right? Co of course. Kosher cannolis. But, um, you know, this is fun, and, and I know it's hot oil and everything, so your kids can't do this, but they can eat them. <laughs> and they will eat them, I guarantee. You know. Ooh, those look good. Don't, oh, look. Oh, yeah. yeah good. Mm. Delicious. Again, good. we're going to drain them. I don't know if you can see this. Again, we're going to drain them on just regular, uh, you know, fr paper from your sacks from, you know, the grocery stores. Okay, so if you don't do that, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, do it just this one time. Too. Do it just this one time. <laughs> paper towels work. But paper towels? Yeah, paper towels, but then, you know, I, we're trying to be, well, paper towels. Okay, we're going to do paper <laughs> towels. And then put them in the compost pile because the worms love them. Oh, they do? They love them. Oh. They love a little oil on, on the paper. paper oh, they love Ooh. They love pizza boxes and dirty paper towels. They love it. Oh. See, look at it. See? Oh, no, those are beautiful. Not too bad. Those are beautiful. Can you see? Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, this is just a, this is just a, I think I need, oh. to, mine are ready. Oh, that's right. Oh. I need, <laughs> you need to come with me. Judy Jr. Judy Jr. Judy Jr. Judy Jr. You, you ready? I, mine have to come out there. Oh, right? okay. I'm going to drain Wait them a little bit. bit. Yeah. I here. think I may be a little bit hotter than you. Okay, we're past. No, I'll take a couple more. Now the kitchen. Oh, oh, oh. There we you go. see those? Okay. Well, we're just going to do a few more, and then we're going to fill them. And then you guys will be the first ones on the block to uh, taste them. Yeah. You know, I, these will go over fast. I know. I, you know, they taste, they're kind of, you know, they get really hot, so you can't, you have to be careful with the kids because it's going to be hot oil. Um, so they have to sit for a few minutes. But actually, um, when I was testing them, I made them, and, and we ate them hours afterwards. And uh, my girlfriend and her friend, they ate them. <laughs> there was no problem. <laughs> so you don't have to worry. How about. many did you do test when you were making these? Uh, I didn't that's, eat, that's just a question. I didn't eat a lot. Yeah, I, I made everybody else eat them. Oh, that's good. For, first we made them without the jelly, then we made them with the jelly. Yeah, Patty, I put jelly on these this morning, and Patty said, I don't like jelly donuts, and she ate the whole thing. <laughs> Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ate the whole thing. You know, also, you know, if you don't like powdered sugar, I guess you could, you could put regular sugar. But I tried the regular sugar. It didn't stick to them very good. No, no. It just powdered didn't, you know, just didn't do the thing. Oh, you know, the other thing is, okay, now you could really get nuts. You could, like, slice them in half and put custard in them. 
Ooh. <laughs> and then you could drizzle like chocolate ganache over the top or something. You know, a little fresh ricotta would be good. Too. Oh, Cinnamon. see, right? see, oh, see, we're taking it to the yeah, next so level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. yeah. Minus the whipped cream. Yeah. Okay, so see. Oh, those look good. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take these out. How are these doing? They're about ready to be turned over. Yeah, we got power. So, you think that was it? Yeah. Okay, so I think we've done, we're gonna, I'm gonna shut my machine down. So this oil, I don't want, how you, okay, no, so you're almost now. ready. Got about another minute. Oh, okay. So, you know, in the whole scheme of things, um, Hanukkah is, is not only just about the oil, obviously, but it's, it's about being with your family and enjoying life, right? I, I, you know, and uh, the kids really enjoy it, and it's one way of, even, uh, even though maybe during the year there's, you know, been some things that have gone on in your family, it's just really a good time for everybody to come together and be happy, because it's a very happy, um, you know, uh, holiday. And these are just not uh, dishes that, um, you know, are, are real ethnic oriented uh, for the Jewish holiday. Um, they can be done in anybody's home. Um, these can be uh, prepared by anybody. The potato latkes, uh, that can be prepared for, for anybody's uh, dinner table or, or whatever. And the same thing with these donuts. And uh, so I just want to make sure that everybody realizes this. Um, like I said, these are just bridge for dough. And uh, they sell that in the supermarket. So I will, all the recipes for all this will be on the website, uh, Cooking for All Seasons. Okay, we're ready. Now we're gonna run over here. You ready? Yep. Let's scoot over here. Excuse me, ladies. Bring my tail with me. Yeah. We're just gonna kinda move them around in here. I don't want you, I don't want you to burn yourself. Ooh, cause they, and then I have some powdered sugar. Oh, I wanted to show you this. Okay, this is what I use to cut my donuts with. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's very cool. And then, look, can you see this? Then look, look what's neat. It, the little donut hole thing comes out. So then I was like, <laughs> and then I was making them like little tiny things. And they were really cute. They were like little donut buttons. Then yeah, they were like little tiny donut buttons. Holes. So, I mean, you don't need to have one of these. You can use a glass. But if you're a Judy foodie, you have yeah, to have one. <laughs> You have to have one. Oh, you know, I just added just a, I don't know, it was a kitchen store, but you know, use a lot of people just use a, a glass or a top, a top to a, a, you know, a can or, or mm -hmm. you know, like a, a lot of people use like a, a tuna can, wash it out, please. <laughs> but, you know, or, or a fruit can or something like yeah. that. Just Most anything. Water glasses work fine, about three inches. Yeah. So, okay. Ooh, ah, okay. I think, okay. Which one do you want? Blackberry. Okay, this is blackberry, no seeds. Because the reason why I picked no seeds was because the seeds would get caught in there. And this is strawberry. And what I did was because the strawberry, strawberry preserves has pieces of strawberry in it. Strawberry jam or strawberry jelly, jelly is just jelly. Open there's no, there, <laughs> there's no actually pieces of fruit in it. So since I had the preserves, I put it in my little squish your Cousinart thingy and squished it up. Perfect. So then, okay, here. Okay, I want to watch you do it. I've so all I, oh, all I did, can you see this? Mm -hmm. All I did was stick it in the side and squish it. Kind of like lubing the donut. All right. Yeah, and look it. Oh, that looks did good. Did it squish out? No, it didn't. No. It stayed in. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's see what we can do here. So Ooh. this is how you do them. You just, I mean, I just bought these little filler things. Of course, I mean, oh. How do you know when to stop? Well, OK, stop, I think. I think it's running down my arm. No, actually, it's perfect. Did oh, see? It's perfect. Um, OK, yeah, we're going to test in just a second. Yeah, we need powdered sugar on it, though. Powdered sugar. Yeah, we got to put the powdered sugar. OK, we can do these really fast. Come on, guy, hey, you're slow. I think maybe this should be a contest or something, you know? How many I'm done. Jim's overfilling. Yeah. Mine's are, mine are running. Oh, over. look. Look at his. 
But they're round. It's very, oh, but his are round. <laughs> These are beautiful. Oh, they're hot too. Oh, they're God. very hot. No. Okay, once again, I really, I really want to thank everybody, you know, you guys for being here and everything. After we get through doing this, you guys take a little taste. Then we're gonna, um, oh, we're, we we're gonna go inside and everybody's gonna sit down and. We need to stand to thank Monty Scott Carpenter for. Oh yeah. Disassembling yeah, the kitchen. He was like, with the kitchen was we had to sort of take it apart and, you know, so and that we could film. He volunteered his time to do that, and he's yes, a he's a very you. busy contractor. Does a great job. Thank you. Okay. Thank so you. So we got Scott. it. Look at yours, though. See, look at You can see the jelly through it. That's pretty cool. I'm impressed. So, I did that on purpose. So <laughs> it's so, you know, so very, I think that one already has it. That's oh, like a double. Well, I double filled it. Okay. We're, so I think then, we're done. Oh, okay. We're done. Okay. Now, now, so I have some powdered sugar. That one done? No. Oh, yeah, it is. That already has a hole in it. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Hey, a little a little jam on top won't be a problem. What? Mixed berry. Mixed. That's she's a mixed. Taking the oh, berry mixed can away berry. From you. Okay, that's it. Cause you're just okay. Then we're gonna put a little a little a little, a little, a little, a little sugar. sugar. Well, they're tight. You know, they remind me of what beignets. Beignets. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> you guys, ever have beignets New in New Orleans? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, in New Orleans. You know, they give you the bag with French. the with the thing, and then they you got powdered sugar all down the front of you. Hey, here we are. You get a little bag of three per. Yeah. Which okay. Says, you know, I mean, it's through Cagnot out of Israel, but it's beignet can be beignet in France. We call them schwinch in Morocco. And that's what it is. It's Souf so gan Souf gan beignet, spinach, it's all spinch? international. Spinach. Spinch. Yeah. Spinch. Beignet. Great name. Okay, okay, go ahead. <laughs> come on, right. come on, come on. That's uh blackberry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? Oh no, she knows how to eat it. She dips on mm -hmm. it. She, mm -hmm. she gathers come on, come up on, come all on. the uh, okay. Oh my God. Delicious. Mm. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, I'll try one. What a treat. Happy mm. Hanukkah, everyone. Happy, happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. And happy holidays. Okay, we're going to be right back, you guys, in mm. the dining room. Ooh, that was hard to. With the rabbi. We'll be back. Thank you. Ooh. Everybody has a white mustache. <laughs> okay, here we are. And I'm here with the uh, rabbi, Rabbi Debbie Israel. And. Thank you so much for having us here in your beautiful synagogue. And we've completed our cooking, as you can see, and the hungry faces behind me, and they're giggling. <laughs> um, tonight, we're celebrating Hanukkah, and I've asked the rabbi if she will please give us a few words about the holiday and some of the traditional things that we uh, sort of use or uh, celebrate with to uh, express uh, the holiday and uh, so sure it's it's your thank you Hanukkah ready. is the holiday of miracles and we'll explain in a moment what this candelabra is it's part of the miracle that we're celebrating about 2,500 years ago the land that's currently called Israel the land of Judea was occupied by Greek Assyrians. Uh, the land was captured by Alexander the Greek, and he appointed Antiochus as the governor. Antiochus was a very mean and evil person who wanted to not necessarily annihilate the Jews, but annihilate their religion. And he took over the temple in Jerusalem, defiled it, uh, robbed, took all of the riches from the inside of the temple, brought in pigs to roast and brought in idols, everything to totally defile the holiness of the place. And a band of an underground army in the hills near Jerusalem in Modi'im, a man named Mattathias and his sons led by Judah, who was called Judah the Maccabee or Judah the Hammer was his nickname, led basically an underground army and managed to rally the Jews to fight against this very powerful Greek Assyrian army. They were successful, it took many years. 
They were successful in the end, however, and one of the first things that happened really during this war, not at the end of the war, but during it, was recapturing the Holy Temple. When they came into the temple, they cleaned it, they tried to restore it to its sacred space for the Jewish people, and in the Bible it tells us that the temple had a candelabra, um, which is called a menorah. And this candelabra was lit by ritual oil, olive oil. Uh, the olive oil had been defiled. There was only just a small amount that was found, and it was hidden in the Holy Temple. The Maccabees went and tried to light the menorah with this little bit of oil. It was only enough for one day, but the myth is that it lasted eight days. And so we have these menorahs, these candelabras, to remember that time and to celebrate the eight days that the oil lit. But that's not the real miracle of the holiday. The real miracle of the holiday is that this ragtag group of people were able, they were not soldiers, they were farmers, they were able to rise up against this terrible enemy, the very powerful army, and were successful. So why don't we light the candles and then we'll talk about some of the items on the table. We start at the end and we go, we put the candles in this way and we light this way. This is the helper candle called the shamash and we use it to light the candles. After we light it, we will say the blessing and the meaning of the blessing is thanking God, blessing God for the commandment to light these candles. And the second blessing is remembering, acknowledging, thanking God for creating miracles, not just during the time of the Maccabees, but only also in our own time. And so we all join together and sing the blessing. on the table these symbols of coins. They're called Hanukkah Gelt, which is the name for coins from Eastern Europe. The reason for these coins is because after the success, the um, Maccabees had coins imprinted, uh, noticing that this was the date, celebrating that this was the date. Those coins have been found in archaeological ex excavation since, but hmm. these little gelts, and it's become the custom evolving from these coins to uh, we give our children coins and to give gifts. The gift giving has nothing to do with other holidays, which coincidentally happen at the same time. <laughs> this is a minor holiday for the Jewish people, but that's what the gift giving, that's what the coins represent. Minor, but good tasting. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we make major out of it. <laughs> The dreidel is a, is a spinning game. And this game is, the myth about this game is that when we were forbidden to study, so when the teachers were teaching their students and they got word that the armies, that the Assyrians were coming, they would bring out a spinning top and play a little game called dreidel. Oh. Now that's the myth. This actually originated in Germany in the Middle Ages, but we like the myth <laughs> because it's an opportunity for us to teach our children and everything is a teaching opportunity. The food on the table, I believe you already explained, the oil, which, the has, oil, right. which has to do with the miracle of Hanukkah, the, the olive oil for the temple. And, um, and I did mention olive oil, remember? Mm -hmm. I, we were talking about olive oil. 
well. Yeah. And we also eat dairy foods. You know, every Jewish holiday has lots of foods associated with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and this particularly is a family holiday, a home holiday. So we especially want foods to be associated with it. So we eat dairy foods to commemorate another episode that happened during this time. And do I have time to tell that story briefly? Sure. There, there was a heroine named Judith who decided, who went to a general outside one of the camps and she tried to seduce him. And the first thing she did was she gave him a lot of salty dairy foods, a lot of cheese, made him thirsty, so he drank a lot of wine, made him sleepy, he went to sleep. And then, while he was sleeping, Judah cut off his head, put it on a stake outside his tent. The soldiers were so disheartened by this, they all ran away from the camp and Judith became a heroine in the Hanukkah story. And, -da -da. <laughs> and that's well, thank you. <laughs> so after that lovely tale, I think we should eat. Don't we? Yes. Well, thank you, thank you, Rabbi. That was just welcome. really. I mean, I learned, and I'm, you know, that was great. I don't know. How about you guys? I, so I, I just really want to thank you uh, for allowing me to come in to your uh, your synagogue and and all the ladies for cooking with me. And I appreciate everything. I really do. Um, I want to thank uh, once again um, Trader Joe's of Morgan Hill and all my friends there for uh, being so gracious to us and, and being our, uh, our supporters uh, through all of our shows. Um, and thank you, I really, truly mean it. It's, it's a blessing for us to be oh, here, it really is, you. and to celebrate this, this holiday. Um, I, I once again want to uh, explain to you what we're having here. We're having uh, the donuts, which are fried in oil, and they have, uh, they're filled with uh, some strawberry and some, some uh, blackberry jam, and Jim got a little overzealous, so some of them are sort of <laughs> leaking out a little yeah. bit. And which, and suf go suf suf ganyots. Those, the donuts. And then we made our uh, beautiful potato latkes, and I sort of told you a little bit about different ways of making those. Um, one was, you know, in a food processor uh, with the uh, processing the uh, potatoes that way, or we had some great ideas going to the grocery store, mm -hmm. right? Buying the potatoes already done, you know, in a rush, and some ideas about keeping them from turning brown, mm -hmm. right? Vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C is always good ideas. So um, the other was, um, let's see, what we eat with it, sour cream. The dairy. The dairy. And we threw in some applesauce. The sweet. The sweet. And um, I just uh, appreciate really honestly being here. And uh, I, I just want to say once again, uh, thank you to my crew for, for putting up with everybody and they're shaking their heads because they really want to eat but <laughs> <laughs> thank you again and my name is Judy Keys and this is Cooking for All Seasons and uh, we hope to see you again and uh, please enjoy your life, uh, enjoy your family and enjoy your holidays whatever those are, uh, whoever, whoever you uh, worship just enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, that's the most important thing in, in life. So um, thank you again for being with us. Was that okay? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you guys start eating because then he'll film that. Oh, uh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, we film everything. Oh, yeah, help yourself. Oh, man. Which ones are the black ones? Yeah, put some napkins on them. The dark uh, they, They're darker. See, like this, this one on the edge looks lighter. This is a light strawberry, and that'll be black. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that easy, is it?
probably should have had a little more. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, see what the uh, Moroccan was. It was in my family. Yeah, you got it. I'm looking for something secret. Yeah, it's just go fill me. Don't fill me, people. People are crazy. Are you starting? Are you? We will as soon as you're ready. I'm okay, let's start. Okay. Come on, girls. Is it? Is it? Hang on a second. Not yet. Come on, she's so you? shy. Yeah. You? What are you trying to do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I can still see her. <laughs> <laughs> can I take some of that hair? 